Are Cook and Nancy together? Who really is Maria Flores and how did she disappear? Which victim's camera can be seen in the original TCM movie? We explain all this and much more right now. So they had a stream, it was supposed to be only like an hour or something, they ended up going like two hours. But yeah, so on that stream they had Andy, he's the community rep. Yeah, that's you'll the see him in like said, Reddit. Yeah, he's in. he's the one that'll respond in Reddit. And Ronnie Hobbs, the creative director. And Ronnie, he, he has built this whole world. It's clear. He's the one who came up with the backstories and the lore. This guy went to Texas and just hung out for like a month. Yeah, he's like talking to people, seeing what people are like in that area to build these characters, which is really cool. Like, I can't believe that much goes into creating this game. Um, Some other things he liked to look at, strangulation. <laughs> if you study choking victims, usually when someone chokes someone, they extend their arms so they can't claw your face. Yes, yeah. you never just do this. You yeah. keep them, it's true. you tilt your head back. Ready to dive into the lore. I have some general notes before we go into the beginning. The camera on Hitchhiker's neck. So that is now in the lore as Maria's camera. Yeah, I thought that was that was actually really cool what they did. Yeah. So they're actually tying this lore into the actual movie. Another thing, family relationships. Uh, weren't, so like the family members, they're not going to go into how they are connected. Yeah, they. I mean, except with the exception of Johnny and Nancy. So it all starts with Maria. Maria Flores, the one who's missing, who we don't know who's alive or dead. Probably dead, right? I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw her eventually. Okay, so Maria went to college. So she's from a, like, seems like a poor, I'm not gonna go too deep into it, but from a poor family. I guess her family paid for her to go to college. She goes to college in Austin and she runs into Leland. And Maria is the big sister of Anna. Maria goes to college, meets up with Leland. Well, Leland is like the hub to me. And there's all those friends, which is Danny. Uh, it's every other I almost victim. said Sissy, Connie. Yeah, all Danny, those. Connie, Sunny, Julie. They're all friends in college, right? Okay, so that's where they meet. Danny and Maria. Maria, they're in a relationship. Anna is back home. She's she wasn't with college at college with all them. She, yes, she wasn't allowed to go to college. She did not have money. So now we're gonna go to where Maria goes missing. So yeah, Dan, you were saying Maria went to, wanted to go take pictures of sunflowers or something. Did, and Johnny abducted her. To clear it up, Danny wasn't with her because he's a guy and who wants to take pictures of sunflowers, right? Maria goes missing. All the friends want to go help, right? So they all get in the car. Uh Anna's kind of leading the charge. Okay, wait, a big part of this though, that Danny has already left to go find Maria. He doesn't want to wait for Anna to come up because Anna's decided she's going to take this adventure on and she's going to find her sister, right? And she's going to meet up with the friends to go do that. Well, Dan Danny doesn't want to wait around. He takes off. But all the friends led by Anna go to search for her sister. Well, they wind up at the gas station and meet Cook, right? Yeah, he basically says he's seen someone. He thinks he may have seen her to give him a little bit of hope. And he says there's a campground that they all can stay at. Which, by the way, is tied in the movie because there is a section, like a, a few frames where you see a campground. So they go camping and guess what? They get captured, right? Boom. So that's it. Then that's how they get in the game. And then Danny, we obviously know Danny, we saw in the trailer where he goes to nancy's house because nancy they said nancy has that salvage yard behind he knows because there was a police report that the cops had found the car but the cops aren't really cooperating giving away where they found it or anything like that because there's only so many salvage yards see if you can find the car and collect evidence and so he runs into nancy nancy takes him game over right well our there's game still hope our game begins <laughs> game begins <laughs> okay so that's that's basically the whole lore of how For the, you, game the game's probably over <laughs> We'll talk about that in our gameplay section. <laughs> okay, so we'll go through we'll go through the uh, victims first and a couple of the killers. First, Sunny. Sunny is smart, intellectual, a little bit nerdy. Sunny also has a girlfriend, believe it or not. Her name is June. Sunny and Leland are like best they're like the best friends they described it as leland's like sunny's big brother yeah it's like the kind of nerdy guy with the jock guy and then we move to julie julie confident and athletic but has been hurt she's been hurt by a past relationship this stuff i gotta be honest <laughs> this stuff it just made me laugh like how deep he's going into it i know i mean he he's doing like, his job he goes straight like family life she is now with leland it's touch it's touchy she's the power holder in the relationship leland and her leland <laughs> leland's in love with her that's that's how this goes. He wants her. He's the old jock from high school. You know, he's used to getting the girls he wants. Uh, uh Not with Julie. Julie's making him work. Why buy the cow when you get the milk for free? She ain't giving that milk. For nah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. So that's it for Julie. And then we go to Leland naturally, right? Ex high school wrestling star dominated the Texas high school circuit. 
in in a lower a lower division though. <laughs> he had dreams, aspirations to go wrestle at the college level. Found out he just wasn't up for it. He actually is inspired by Friday Night Lights. Did you ever watch that show? Not Leland, the creative designer is. No, I thought he said Leland was like based off of Riggs from. Well, right. I'm saying Leland didn't watch Friday Night Lights. <laughs> <laughs> Next one, <laughs> Connie. She grew up on a farm. She's one of those farm girls. I actually like what he did there because it wasn't like she grew up on, because we've been around plenty of people that grew up on farm. We lived I live on a, a farm. A walnut orchard. Let's be straight. We, we don't farm have any, walnuts. <laughs> you don't have an animal. She's like strong. It's like smart. Well, she's not strong in the game. She should actually have her strength up, to be honest. Actually, yeah, you're right. Eh. Yeah. Yeah, she can't have everything. But she knows how to like, obviously the lock picking. She knows how to like her proficiency. She can get stuff done. The fence goes down. She's going to mend that fence. Boom, you nailed it perfectly. She needs a post hole dug. She's going to dig a post hole. So uh, the big reveal, she is bisexual. She had a relationship in high school. See, I wanted, yes, there's a girl in high school who got Connie's heart. But Connie was, there was a guy too that she was interested in. But this girl stole her heart. Having him describe that he decided she was bisexual was pretty funny. (laughs) I was never going to say this because it's just for me personally. But um, she likes a girl. There's a girl in her high school that... She really likes. <laughs> okay, let, let me clarify this. I don't care if she's bisexual or not. Uh, it doesn't matter. It Having was a guy funny. decide <laughs> yeah. is interesting. It, it is <laughs> funny for a guy to decide to make a girl bisexual. It just was a funny, it was funny to listen to. I laughed when I heard because it's just, it sounds kind of pervy, you know? It's like, oh, she's bisexual and she likes multiple partners at the same time. <laughs> 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 he didn't say that. He didn't say that. <laughs> She's tight with uh, Anna and Maria, respects them and relates to them. It sounds like all of them kind of have a similar harder upbringing. Not so much Sunny, maybe, but... You know, we need a lazy character. All these people are, like, hardworking, right? But that guy in the wheelchair, what's his name? <laughs> Franklin. <laughs> Franklin. <laughs> I wouldn't say Franklin was lazy. He's always he's sitting down all day. <laughs> okay, that's bad. That's bad. <laughs> Cut. Anna. We love Anna. Uh, she's Maria's sister. Yep. Big reveal. Cheerleader. You know, people were surprised. She's like tougher. Do you, do you think cheerleaders aren't strong? <laughs> I'm going to turn on you guys. <laughs> yeah, are you guys surprised she's a cheerleader? Because I'm not. <laughs> Her boyfriend, star football player, was. It's over now. Was a star football player. He won the state championship. And that actually happened in real life. Like that school, whatever this is based off of, they actually won the state I know, championship. I, I saw that. That's I thought funny. that was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, he left the college. She couldn't go with him. Before her sister was missing, Anna was just at home. Just trying to figure out what to do. Danny grew up in a foster home. Mom left. Dad was a drunk. Stuff. Stuff. <laughs> That, that, stuff, guys. Tough. <laughs> that sucks. I don't know. Yeah, that's that's a, that's a tough way to start life. So Danny again, hard worker, and knows how to use his hands. Use his hands, hence the high temp- temperance, <laughs> temperability, right? Yeah, tamper, tamper. Yeah, temper is a different glass. Totally like, different thing. Totally. Yeah. He might be good at tempering. We don't know. Yeah, he might be able to temper glass. I don't know. So he met Maria at college with the friend group, right? Danny and Anna actually don't know each other very well. We, as we know, Danny didn't go on the wildflower trip. Probably regrets that because his his uh, girlfriend got taken. So now we'll move on to the family. Cook is the most sympathetic of the characters. They say so. Cook, his big thing is he's tired of dealing with a bunch of idiots. That is his family understandable and you hear it in the voice lines he's annoyed by everyone because he has to clean up after their mess yeah and they're a disaster you got hits doing god knows what johnny's killing everyone apparently just straight arm strangling leatherface destroying the house uh next one sissy free spirit flower child yeah so sissy this is something we kind of researched anyways because i've i've gone deep on the manson family stuff she wasn't involved in the killings that went on with the Manson family, but she visited Spawn Ranch. And that's that's old movie studio ranch that they used to film on, but then the hippie the hippies took it over. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> Charles Manson took it over and created like a commune type thing over there. And so she did hang out there. That's why she knows some of the songs. Yeah, and by and if we didn't mention you probably know she is a character they created, not from the movies at all. Correct. Right. Her MO, because she's attractive, she get rides from truck drivers, hitchhike. Sometimes you kill them, right? Yeah, they kind of described her as like hitchhiker-esque, just not as like crazy. So that's it for uh, Sissy, and we'll move on to our boy and the fan favorite, Johnny. He's a combination of different killers that they research, serial killers and stuff, to make this psychopath that is Johnny. His dad left him, I guess. I can't remember now. 
Uh, and his mother was and him were searching for a new life. They stopped because they got lost to Nancy's house to search, you know, to ask for directions. Well, Nancy killed his mom and took Johnny. So the question was asked, is Johnny aware that Nancy killed his mother? To which the answer is yes. And guess who told him? Hitchy. The dumbass Hitch. <laughs> Hitch is yeah. an idiot. Yeah. Uh, so Hitch told Johnny about it. So Johnny actually was going to try to kill Nancy. He was upset. He was in his teens, not as big as he is now, but powerful. But Nancy checked him, and that's how he got the scar on his face, I believe. Yes, yeah. there was a confrontation. She slashed him and put him in his place. And now Johnny enjoys the hunt. He was taught by Nancy how to hunt and kill. And they have like this contentious relationship, right? Like... Nancy wants Johnny to love her, but Johnny doesn't really, like, he's yeah. a psychopath. Yeah, Johnny will trash talk her to her face, no big deal. Last one, Nancy. Husbands couldn't give her what she wanted. Which was? Children. She wants a baby. She thought they were the problem, so she killed them. Nancy Barron. But then a miracle arrived, and that was little Johnny. Before Nancy killed Johnny's mom, uh, Johnny's mom took out Nancy's eye. And, and somehow okay. gave her superpowers. Yeah, that's the, <laughs> that's the funniest thing. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm with you 100% on the eye getting out and all that junk. But how does she see people through it? <laughs> right? like, usually if you get stabbed in the eye, you have less function, not more. And the final big thing, Cook yeah. and Nancy, a lot of people talking in the streets. A lot of together. speculation on this. Everyone thought, oh, they're a couple. 100%. This guy thought they were a couple. They're not. No. They are not a couple. They're just in the family together. And again, they're not describing what their relationships are because it doesn't really matter. Yeah, but they're definitely not a couple. <laughs> they made that clear. And that is the TCM lore. 